Hola amigos. Today I'm going to share with you how to make some rajitas de chiles poblanos in sour cream sauce. If you want to learn how to make them, stay tuned. And if you're ready to cook, vámonos. Here I have all of the ingredients that I'm going to be using. And as always, all of the ingredients are going to be listed in the description box. We are going to start by roasting our chiles and we're going to roast them for about 4 minutes on each side. This one is roasted on that side, so now we're going to flip them over to the other side. It's been about 5 minutes and they are now fully roasted. We are going to transfer them to a plastic bag and let them rest for about 5 more minutes. And then we're going to remove the skin. It's been about 5 minutes now and the chiles are ready for me to start removing the skin. To remove the skin, you can either do it by hand like this or you can use a spoon. Using the spoon is a lot faster, so that's what I'm going to do. And this is how you do it. After we remove all of the skin, we're going to give it a quick rinse. All right, we removed the skin off of this one. This is what it looks like now. And we repeat the process with the rest of them. Next, we are going to remove the seeds. And to remove the seeds, we're just going to open them like this. And we're just going to pull all of the seeds out just like this. And we repeat the process with the rest of them. I did a second rinse and removed all of the seeds. And now we're going to get ready to start cutting them in thin slices. You can do it with a knife or you can do it by hand. I'm just going to do it by hand like this. This, this is how thin you want them. So let's go ahead and do all of them. And I am done cutting them. This is what the slices look like after doing all of them. To a medium sized pan, we're going to add some oil. I am using olive oil, but you can use uh, whichever oil you prefer. Once the oil is hot, we're going to add the rajitas de chiles. We are going to cut one onion in thin slices. And we add those to the pan now. We're going to let it cook for about three minutes. To the blender cup, we're going to add some cumin and some black pepper. I'm also using two dried chili pots or chili de arbol, three garlic cloves, and the three tomatoes cut in half. And I am adding half a spoon of tomato bouillon. You can add salt if that's what you prefer. This is how much I'm adding. We're going to add about half a cup of water to the blender cup. And the sauce is ready. It's been about five minutes and now we are going to add the eggs. I am using four eggs. You can use more if you prefer. We're also adding some salt and black pepper to taste. The eggs are almost ready. And let's add the sauce now. I'm gonna mix them. Make sure that we combine all of the flavors. This is when you taste it for salt. Mine is fine the way it is. We're going to let them cook for about two minutes and then we're going to add the Mexican cheese and the sour cream. Next, we're gonna cut the cheese. I am using Mexican cheese, queso fresco. This is what I'm using. I'm gonna cut it in thin slices like this. This is how much I'm going to use. You can use however much you uh, prefer. And then I'm going to cut them in small pieces just like this. And now let's add the sour cream. I am using about a cup. You can use however much you would like. And we mix. So it's been about three minutes. Everything is cooked. Now we're going to add the cheese. And you can now turn your heat off. The cheese is going to cook some with the heat of the food and that's all we need. And there you have it amigos. I am serving mine with white steamed rice. You can also eat it with tortillas. And now for my favorite part. friends if you made it until the end of the video don't forget to subscribe like and share and i will see you guys on the next one adios